Mr. Brooks shops at secondhand sex stores? I don't. Good afternoon, everyone. This is IWTK TV. In with the news, that's Don Grimm. And that, that, that motherfucker over there, that's just Chad motherfucking Brooks. Hey, what's up, yo? What's up, uh, honey? What's that, happening? That's, that's um, <clears throat> I want to talk about uh, Mr. Brooks. You know, this is a this is a recent development. I mean, it's not like he's been going to these secondhand sex shops his whole life. It's just something that started yes. you know, a couple weeks ago. And... Um, I only figured it out because as as he was pulling out, uh, you know, condoms and other like like random shit out of his wallet while we were talking on a video call, uh, this the, this fucking <clears throat> receipt falls. I'm like, what the fuck is that? It had all kinds of purplish, yellow, green, you know, pink shit on it. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And he told me, oh, the the second hand. I mean, the I mean, and then of course he already let the cat out of the bag, so we had to he had to finish telling me about it then. And it, yeah. Well, you know, here's the thing, man. There's nothing worse than when somebody, you know, it's bad enough if somebody has an old sweater or like a nice leather jacket they haven't been wearing and it's just sitting in the back of the closet and it's just, it's the same thing for fucking uh, sex toys, man. Like, no, it's not. You know, because you, you, look, all right, a sex shop is one of the only places that, <laughs> one of the only places you can fucking go to where <sighs> everyone there, everyone there, including you, Knows whatever you walk out of that summer bitch with is gonna eventually end up with your fucking dick in it. Okay, you can't tell me that. Oh, I, I got a secondhand jacket, and you know it's the same as a fucking you know secondhand flashlight. You know, no, because you're not fucking you know wrapping the jackets you know, like the fucking sleeve around your cock. I mean, well, you might, but I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm just saying, I stick my arm in both jackets and flashlight. Oh God, yeah. but you know that's the thing though, because like. Just think about that for a second. Women, their vagina is so awesome. Their midsection is so awesome that you can, like, you can buy one. Like, they have them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Imitation. it's like a butt. It's like yeah. a butt. Yeah. You know, because you Absolutely. call those places and ask them questions about it. But like, it's this fucking yeah. big butt. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a vagina. They're going out of their way to make it seem as much like a vagina as humanly possible. But on the flip side, it's like if you go, you know, the women don't want a fucking dick. You know, they, they, why would they? Because if they wanted a dick, all they have to do is go outside and go, can I have some dick? And somebody would be like, sure, sure, of course. And men, it don't work like that. You can't walk up and be like, can I fucking stick my dick in you and your butt? You know, can I look at your butt from the back? you know, with nothing on and cram something in there and like really, you know, do something fucking disgusting to you. You're going to jail. You got to sign fucking paperwork and put a sign in your yard. And like you can't go to any fucking school field trips or nothing. But like women just go outside and it's like, let me get a dick. And they're like, here's a dick and dick, dick, everywhere's dick. So like their fucking toy section, it's like these weird fucking contraptions, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like a boomerang with a fucking vibrating goddamn fucking two know. heads on it though. Like one coming off one way and the and the main you know what all what, what I whatever happened to <laughs> whatever happened to like, you know, women who just, you know, get like uh, you know, this is a dildo. Okay, that looks like a fucking cock. Okay, but now they got these fucking contraptions that look like they came off of a fucking UFO. And I'm I'm wondering like I mean, if men's junk was actually shaped like that, would we have a little better relationship with women? I mean, it, because women seem to be going much more toward that, you know, purple-headed, three-pronged yeah, fucking weird shit. Vibrating. That motherfucker would be like, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> you're like, what the fuck is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. May, maybe that's what alien dick looks like. You know what I mean? And, and when they come, come or when they come, when they come, they you're come. When the women come or when the aliens come? Both, like when they come back and take us back to their planet for slavery, the women will be like, "Oh shit, that's the kind. That's what I've been practicing for. That triple-headed fucking purple thing." <laughs> but like, you know, what I'm saying that's weird because that's how important vagina is. 
You know what I mean? Like, I know if I have one, I know it. If I have one, <clears throat> I could be rich. You're rich. You don't have to be rich because I mean, I, I give props to women. Like, when you see like a really gorgeous ass girl, she gets out of a jalopy and goes into her job at the fucking you know local uh, seafood spot, and everybody's harassing her in the parking lot, and she's like trying to make it to work late, and her hair is in a fucking pile on top of her head. And, you know, you're like. Damn, you could be in a fucking Bentley, man. You know what I'm saying? You suck the right dick and you are in a yacht. You know what I'm saying? Like e- either the right one or the right amount of, you know, decent pain. Whatever it takes, man. Like you, you know, even ugly bitches can have that. So, you know, when they're fine as hell and they're working at a gas station, you're like, man, you are a real motherfucker. God damn. It's an unfortunate truth. It's a sad truth. It's one of those just realities of life, damn it. But well, I want I want to say I want to say some first. Sorry, but fine. like be that way, fucker. It leads me to the whole uh, <laughs> prostitution. I mean, there are, there are male prostitutes, but it's a whole different thing. You understand that, like when when a male is a prostitute, it's like a, a usually some rich woman that's fucking old and shit, and she's got some you know young Italian guy in a fucking speedo, and it's all greasy and shit, cleaning the pool, and like. That's what male prostitution looks like. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's dudes that'll suck a dick in a public restroom for some fucking rock, but like, that's not what I mean. Like, women, and even given women, yeah, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to do. That's that's how you can do it. But like, women, any decent woman could walk out and go, you know, go do it, which is a good thing, man. Because as much as I go out of my way not to uh, use them. We need prostitutes, man. We need uh, they're important, man. Did you, you say? know what? You know what? Uh, the the one one thing that I think is most important, and yeah, we're dragging this on even more. We're supposed to be getting to our first segment, but oh well. <laughs> one reason why I really feel that prostitutes are as important as they are, even though I've never used one myself either. You know, on the same boat with that. But no, really serious. You're a fucking liar. Whatever. No, I'm serious. I, I never have. Fucking. Well, this week you mean? Whatever. Carry on. That's, that's why I'm still a virgin. Okay, relax. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from women. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no hetero. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> unpause it. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but prostitutes have saved lives. I can guarantee you, there have been men throughout history, all over the world, who have who have gotten to that point where they're just about to fucking kill somebody, and then it hits. You know, the, 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 then suddenly they'll realize. You know what? I'd feel so much better if I had a piece of ass. <laughs> and then that motherfucker could probably live. So they go and get that piece of ass. It's, you know, a couple shillings, you know, fucking a couple yen, a couple dollars, whatever the fuck. A chicken, shillings. A fucking chicken, whatever it takes, whatever she's willing to accept. You know, get your bang on and next thing you know, you're feeling much fucking better. And whoever it was that you were going to kill survives. All he has no possible. idea. And don't even know that he almost got fucking beat to a bloody fucking mess. Oh. Uh, I want to point out that uh, Don Graham also said shillings. Like, don't you know we're moving on to Bitcoin? I thought we talked about this already. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. so yeah, we want to move away from uh, all the um, rubber fucking <clears throat> snatch jokes and move into the uh, the other snatch stuff. Let's see what Don Grimm. According to Don Grimm, this evening is. Uh, Special. <laughs> I put a lot of pressure on his ass. Like, you know, this man, I'm telling you, if you ain't, I ain't even heard it either. That's why I'm talking shit. Like, this is going to be epic, man. Like, this is the one to see. This is the it fucking. Ain't, it, ain't, it ain't even a two minute, you know, fucking segment. Cut it out, man. <laughs> a lot on my shoulders here all of a sudden. Yeah. No pressure. Hope it's fucking good. <clears throat> Best one ever. Best one he's ever done right here. The only video. Show. What's up, everybody? Boy Don Graham. Quick question for you. What is it inside of people that makes them brag about shit that they're not even good at? You know, people claim that they're, they're, they're you know so good at this, so good at that. And all it's causing is for them to get called out on their bullshit and made the end up being made to look like fucking idiots. I mean, if you're not good at something, it's just as just simple as don't fucking claim you are. Just don't do it. Because there probably is something else you're good at. You could be bragging about. I don't even see the point in bragging to begin with. But, I mean, you know, if you're going to brag about something, just make sure that 
It's something that you're actually fucking good at. You're going to get called out. You're going to get clowned. And then you're going to get all butt hurt and gee wounded me over the shit. And it's going to be your fucking fault. Because you were a dumbass. I hate that though. It's like, you know, that kind of person. It's like that they got, you know, such low self-esteem. And they, they, they feel like they got to brag about something. Make themselves, you know, seem like they're better than they are. It's like, if you would just chill the fuck out. And just shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> and just be you. Stop, stop stop with the whole, you know, bragging and, and, and boasting and shit. And, you know, maybe people actually accept you. And won't, you know, be labeling you as being full of shit. The reason I, I made a point of doing that on uh, that particular topic on the segment is because I've known so many people that say, like, I'll mention, oh, man, I love playing dominoes. You, you, you know how to play dominoes? Oh, man, I'm a dominologist. Oh, man, I'll have you digging. I'll have you digging. Man, I'll slap some bones. You don't know nothing about it. And then I go and play, you know, and, and it's like, okay, um, I'm already to, to, like, you know, ten houses, and you're on three. Where's all this big time dominologist shit coming from? Or like when somebody tells me, you know, they, man, when I when I you know mention cooking or something, I'm like, man, I could throw down the kitchen, pretty cool, man. I'm telling you, oh yeah, well, I, man, fuck that, I'll fucking fucking I make some, you know, creme brulee and fucking alligator etouffee, and you know, okay, well, look it up. <laughs> oh, uh, my my wrist kind of like sore right now. I can't be like grabbing ah, a and shit. You go over there and that motherfucker oh. got mac and cheese with hot dogs in it and shit. Hella ramen with sardines in it and shit. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, no, no, no. Nah, and then you try to get all gourmet with some soft tofu and fucking braise the shit. Like, what? You just made tofu mush. To the, I mean, I'm, 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 fuck that. Fuck, I, I, and, and another thing that, that really irritates me, not just people that did like brag on like what what they're good at or what they, you know, just trying to make claims, claims like that is the one uppers with always like, uh, oh, yeah. like, like if, if, if like one day, uh, oh man, I'm about to go pick up this car, man. And I'm not bragging or nothing because I mean, first of all, the car I'm about to get, believe me, I'm not, you know, I'm not balling it. It's not going to be something that impressive, but I'm just happy. I'm getting a new fucking car. You know what I'm saying? Sharing the joy. And I'm like, go, oh yeah, man. They said, I went and picked me up a Bentley. Like, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, I I got rid of my uh my my, my caddy and upgraded to a Bentley, bitch. You know, so, what? What? Well, let me let me see where you know. Let me see the keys. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh so oh, that's oh, the no. next word right there. Ah, oh. oh no no. All I got, I, I drove my Volkswagen to work today though. I man. wrecked that motherfucker, man. All I got today is the fucking uh the, the brochure. School, you got the, you know, like, sure. <laughs> I got the uh, I got the owner's manual right here though and shit. I don't know why it's got busted glass all in it, but I got this picture of it, you know. And, and yeah. oh, don't mind that. That's my cousin in the picture. That's you know that wasn't me though. I, I you know I was trying to get a picture because he don't know how to use a camera. Yeah, he, he don't. <laughs> my, my, my Bentley came with a camera built in. Right. right. Uh, so Listen. we are at the point where we need to get a prank call in. You good with that, Mister Brooks? Yeah, that's my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Uh, right here. Yeah, I'm fucking Beetlejuice. If only you knew. Damn, that's good. Yeah, drink some more. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, believe me, I plan on it. Looks like clam juice. It might be. Mixed with fucking um, flounder funk. Smegma from a fucking anyway. <clears throat> now just thinking about what you just said, I gotta go fucking home, you know, get some mouthwash. Anyway, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is this fucking prank called, bruh? Yes, watch this. More right. uh more awesome people. We're finding nothing but greatness. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hey, how you doing? This is George Carlin. How are you? And I thank you. How about you? Oh, I'm good. I'm better now. I hear your voice. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you. What can good, I good, good. You? Okay, so uh, I got kind of a weird thing here I need to ask you about. So I have a shirt. I really love the shirt, mm -hmm. and it has a it has a stain on it. And uh, I'm wondering 
here's the thing. Let me explain. Mm-hmm. So it's a really dear friend of mine. It's actually a blood stain on the shirt. Now, this sounds crazy, and you know, it's nothing crazy. He just got hurt one day. But uh, he spilled blood on the shirt when I was trying to help him back up out of the machinery. But he, uh, the problem was shortly after that, he passed away. And he was really, really a good friend of mine. And the shirt is almost like a symbol of the sentimental value of our friendship now, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. So mm-hmm. so what I'm wondering is the shirt is getting kind of wore out and old. Mm-hmm. And I bought a new shirt just like it, but it doesn't have the same feel to it because, you know, it just doesn't have, honestly, his blood stain on it. So my question for you, is there any way if I bring the shirt down, and you see each shirt, they're the same exact shirt. It's literally the same kind of shirt, just one's worn out and one's new. Mm-hmm. Is there a way that maybe, possibly, any way that you could take the stain out of the one shirt and put it on my new shirt? You mean that put the, uh, take out the stain from the uh, old shirt to put on the new shirt? What? Um... Oh, what um, do you mean? I don't... Okay, so I got the old shirt where he had the blood stain on it. Uh-huh. Which typically people would want to get rid of, but I don't want to get rid of it because, it, you know, when I, uh-huh. when I wear the shirt, it makes me think about my friend and okay. uh, uh-huh. some of those special nights we had. So it was like I just wanted to be able to continue to have that. So I want to know it, but the shirt is old. It has, it's starting to get kind of stretched out. It's no good uh-huh. anymore. But yeah. but I still I want the stain in the shirt. So I bought the new shirt. Can you change the stain and put it in the new shirt? Just take it out of the old shirt and just move it over to the new shirt. I need to I need to take a look uh, on the bow of the two shirts to see if uh, I can do that. I need to take a look. Oh, so it's possible? Uh-huh. But it is possible, right? It uh, yeah, it might. But I need to see what kind of shirt you have and what kind of stain and how can we remove from this to the other one. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't think it could be done, but that's that's amazing. So you yeah. So you might can like if you know take a stain out and put in the new shirt. But like uh, if I if I leave yeah. it there, like y'all not gonna Maybe like. I need hurt to take a look to see how it works on that way. Otherwise, I get thinking another way. Uh, but I need to see the shirt first to see and what kind of the stain you have and how it looks so we can create it or we can transfer or something like that. But I need to take a look. So you check with it and then I check and then I, 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 I see if we can find a solution for that. My God, you sound hot. All right. Um. So, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I just don't want, like, you know, if you can't do it, I don't want nobody to, like, get hurt so that you can put some fresh blood and try to, like, smooth it over. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be uh, the same thing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. It depends on the what kind and then how we can. So the, I, I I want to see that usually with the blood stain, if you leave it long, it won't it not come out. So you cannot. Oh. If you remove from the other one and then add it, so I need to see so if it's, uh, you know, so much different or if, uh, you know, people don't recognize, so I need to see and have an idea. I uh, cannot guarantee for you that we can do that, but right, sometimes yeah. we have uh, created something to make it look like or something right. like that. Okay? Yeah. Okay, what's, so what's, what's your name? My name is Teresa. Melissa? Te- Teresa. Teresa? Yes. That is off the chain. That is a beautiful name. Thank you. Okay. How old are you? Ah, uh, okay. I'm old. That be over 50. So. Oh, get out of here. Okay. Get out of town. Get out of town. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, uh, P- Palissa? Palissa, right? Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, I will bring the shirts, Okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. You take care. Bye-bye. Look, man. Like I said, good people, man. So helpful. Her voice. Hey, listen, man. Like that fucking accent is fucking exhausting, isn't it? They didn't seem like it would like if you were if you were her like she was probably tired as fuck. I, it sounds so cool, but it's like god damn, it seems like a lot of effort to pronounce words the way she was doing it. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah, well, I mean, but it was also at the same time because she 
she was flowing with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to see if I can do it. You know, something like that. That shit is kind of. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It was just. Is that she why you're really trying to help? Yeah. Uh, I just imagine, like you know. Anyway, um, yeah, man, you can get your shirt done. I forgot to tell you, I was calling the cleaners. People were probably like, "Oh, that's. Uh, I wonder what the fuck is going on here." <laughs> that was a, a a dry cleaner. Sorry, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Um, true. you know all the talk about um secondhand sex shops and hookers and dry cleaning made me uh hungry. <laughs> no, no, but it is about food because I listen to everybody. I was uh, talking to Don Grimm on the phone earlier today, and uh, he was enjoying shrimp chips, which that name is, has a whole new meaning after this disgusting show, this total pig shit we put on for you tonight. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to know, is that a thing? Like fucking shrimp chips? Like... That sounds terrible, man. Is that like midgets that don't wash? Never mind. Go ahead. I've been eating shrimp chips since uh, I was like not even a teen yet. So yeah, I just it, it been, and then you find them all over over here. Every Seven Eleven you go to has them over here. And it, I have know, seen so many kind of chips. I've never seen sh- sh- well, shrimp, shrimp chips. Shrimp chips. Yeah, no, they're good. They're you good. show me they they they. Uh, I saw a picture and they look like little crinkle crust. Crinkle cut fries. They're not even like a uh, like an actual chip. You know what? I, I honestly, <clears throat> I take pride in the fact that I eat chip, shrimp chips, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> for me, if for me, it took courage. It took courage, not just because it's a goddamn shrimp chip. What the fuck are you eating that for? No, not that kind of. Because when you open the bag, it reminds you the the smell comes out, and reminds you of fucking like summer camp or whatever. <laughs> not even that. Um, it's the fact that I'm allergic to shrimp. Yeah, that sucks, bro. I swear to God, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you know what? Um, everybody I knew was eating the fucking things uh, when I was young, so uh, I I and I always smell so good, I always want to try them. So I looked on the fucking thing that it says it's made with shrimp powder, and so little of it, obviously, that you know it's not it, it didn't affect me. So I I took tried one, then I had took a handful of them. Next thing I know, I'm fucking munching out a whole damn bag, and I'm good. Fuck it. Well, I, I tell you, I ain't mad at you, man. I ain't hating them because uh, man, I love to eat shrimp, and if I couldn't eat shrimp. And and that's what you're doing is is getting the next best possible thing. Maybe you can get that's that not shrimp. The next best possible thing. You know, that's not the next best, but you know, from well, to smoke, you know, in between that and hookers, and it's somewhere in between. Somewhere, yeah, yeah. That's a broad chips. spectrum, though. It's like yeah. real shrimp, hookers, shrimp chips. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're eating one, you know, I'm just saying. Oh, uh, I eat it. Uh, but like, you know, I'll be honest, man. It's like all these fucking weird chips. Like, you know, growing up, you had what? Like sour cream onion. You had fucking barbecue. You had fucking chips. <laughs> and then I remember like the sour cream and cheddar. Oh, something different. And like, you know, all these different sun chips and all this other shit. But like, you ever go in the store and they're just like fucking ketchup chips? You ever seen that shit? I never seen ketchup chips. I heard they're the, like the, the most popular fucking flavor of chip in all of Canada, though. It's well, like, uh, first of all, what does that say about Canada? Yeah, if you live in a fucking igloo, you're lucky to eat at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we got blubber flavored Pringles. You know? Yeah, <laughs> we're eating moose and ketchup chips for dinner, eh? Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy to make fun of uh, of Canadians. It's so fucking easy. It's automatic too. It's like immediately. Like, um, I'm assuming you're not going to be able to do anything about it because you're Canadian and you're like a fucking pussy bitch, fucking punk motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding, oh, Canada. Well, well, I'm sorry, eh? I'm sorry for being a pussy ass punk bitch, eh? <laughs> I didn't mean to make you think that I was such a bitch, even though I am. No, I'm just kidding. We love you, Canada. It was a joke. Yeah, we do. Uh, I really do. I, I don't. Y'all are, they, they, they love to judge, though. I mean, I have to slip off into that realm, but they love to judge our country when the truth is, is they're like, Clueless. they're corrupt, too. Like, they're Justin Trudeau. Like, he's a fucking douche-ass fuck, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's doing all the same shit, but it's all so fucking, like, they can't do anything mean. So it's like, even when they're being fucked by their government and tortured, it's like, so gentle and apologetic that it's like, it's... I'm sorry to cut you off. <clears throat> <laughs> You're right. You're right. But I'm still stuck on you mentioning eating hookers. I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on it. 
I'm still stuck well, on it. Moving along, because that's bullshit. Who the fuck eats a hooker? I, this Spanish guy I work with said he did. They were all making fun of him, and I was like, "What's some, what's the problem?" You know, I was like, "I want to know what the fuck y'all are saying." And, and they were like, uh, "He told me," and I, I didn't. I was like, "Damn, I wish I never said shit," because they told me that he would get prostitutes and like go downtown, and I'm be like, "I go straight to him." As soon as I heard that, I went right to him. Like, it, you know, it's not even a joke anymore. It's serious business. I'm like, "Bro, listen, no, nah, nah, nah. I don't know what the fuck y'all be doing, but." First of all, I would my advice would be don't call a hooker at all. You know what I'm saying? Right. Step your game up and go try to get you some ass. But you never this right. this she, <clears throat> she, you know she probably was somewhere else before and like you you're like she could have just had a dude dribbling her his his man gravy inside her shit all in and you don't know how long it's been whether she was able to clean up between rounds and whatnot before she got to you, you might have a mouthful of some other motherfucker's DNA. And you know what? To top it off, you could have you you don't know what the fuck that broad has besides that. Like Ghana Sifa Herpa clap on the lightest ass fucking you know, it's just foulness. And that reminds me of something. <clears throat> Observe and report. No, right before we, we get away from that, it, it reminds me of something else about the chips. So when you were saying all that disgusting shit was like the, the ones that's like the sausage gravy flavor. Uh, you reminded me of it with what you were saying just now. Uh, I actually tasted one brand of those that really, really tasted like fucking country gravy. Yeah. It was really like, even burn, it gets that little burn in the back of your throat yeah, like sausage pepper. does. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a little yeah. ginger spice, you know, right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what uh, she said right there. And I was like, no. <laughs> anyway. We'll try, but no. <laughs> yeah. I'll give him my old college try, but I'm pretty sure it's more like right right there. <laughs> oh shit. Observing report. What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Brooks. Um so, uh, you know, I was just thinking, man, reminiscing about the old days in the news, the news group, and with the news show and stuff, you know, we uh, we had our fair share of people that would come through and, and try to fuck it up, you know, and uh, uh, get it shut down. We tried to get, people tried to get the, the group shut down, I don't know how many times. They called into a radio show talking shit, you know, they go on YouTube and fake profiles and, and talk shit and, uh, you know, um, threaten to beat up me and Don Graham. And, uh, some of y'all might remember, I had somebody actually hit me up, tell me they were going to come drown my kids, you know, over the shit I was saying on the show and that sort of thing. And I just, you know, I always thought it was funny, you know, but it's part of the reason I don't even post much about my children on Facebook, but, um, so, you know, we took a long uh, break with the show. It's been gone for a while, and uh, now that we're back, turns out we got a new guy that, uh, on the YouTube channel that just out of the blue showed up and started talking shit. And I'm like, you know, he was calling us white trash and all this shit, you know, and all this political stuff. And, I mean, anybody has been paying attention, like, we haven't even been talking about politics on the show, really. Like, there's been no mention of... Uh, you know, the election or the, you know, really none of that kind of stuff, man. Like, we're just kind of leaving that off to end with the news part. Uh, side note, the news break's coming um, real soon. Not soon, soon, but, you know, soon. <laughs> Some of y'all might remember that. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, this, this dude is talking shit, and I mean... On one hand, it's like, here we go again. But on the other hand, it feels good. I mean, you know, I love when uh, stupid-ass people just come and talk shit for no reason. But how about next time? Just use your real name, man. Let us know who you are. Stop fucking hiding. Fuck ass shit, man. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the show. Back to whatever the fuck they're talking about. Peace. What are you talking about shit? Not soon, soon. But soon. <laughs> she was the fucking greatest ever. Yeah, yeah. That guy was funny. That guy was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those yeah, man, who, like I... who don't get the joke, that was actually from a, a short video that I did many 
many, many moons ago. Yeah, yeah it's fucking hilarious. Go find it. Whoever finds it first gets a free shirt or something. Come up with something, but you got to prove that you found it and you were the first one ever to ever see it, even though it has multiple views already on the YouTube channel, so you can never win. Anyway, yeah, man, somebody's fucking just be talking shit. Like, it's been a while since people did that. I mean, they do it on Facebook and shit like that, of course, because it's like, you know, everybody on Facebook knows the facts. People are always like, man, uh, you think you're fucking right all the time. And I'm like, dude, I have never once said I'm right. I, I don't know, man. I, if if I have, somebody could point that out. But I'm pretty sure that I'm always like, you know, there's a reason it's called opinionated. When people say, you're so opinionated. That's that's why it's called that. It doesn't mean opinions. It strictly means I don't know if I'm right or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is just what I feel. like. See, that? that's a good <clears throat> For anybody who really hasn't pieced this together yet, Mr. Brooks is the opinion guy because he he just you know speaks from whatever he whatever the fuck he's feeling, which is great. I am I'm I'm the you know facts guy. I won't speak on a damn thing unless I know that I'm right. So if you argue with me, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time arguing with me. I, I have already done my homework. If I say something to you, I've already done my homework on what I'm on the way. I'm greeting you even. You know, hey, how you doing? Just want to hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure that was the right way to greet you. Yeah, okay, good. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, man, this motherfucker. Like, it, 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 we could be on the phone, and, and he'll just be like, um, "Who is so and so?" And I'll be like, "I don't fucking know." And he'll be like, "Hmm." All right, I'll send him a friend request. I'm like, <laughs> you gotta fucking dig and research. Is this motherfucker says he's from fucking Europe? Europe, um, somewhere, you know, or whatever, and it's like, just fucking click the button, take a chance, this motherfucker. <laughs> it's not gonna kill you, cause you know I'm the opposite of pretty much everything. I just fucking all you motherfuckers is joining, whether you like it or not. I know y'all hate yeah. me for that shit. They'd be like, man, he clicks me on every fucking thing. Get over it. Yeah. Anyway, we are so stupid past our fucking crunch time, man. Shit happens. Jesus yeah. Christ! They done fell off eighteen minutes ago. They gave up on me. Um, for anybody who's left watching this, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. But because I know nobody's watching it right now, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all check these out. These are the credits. They're new.